All right, uh, tobacco season started. I don't know if it's come up. These I bought these from the warehouse in New Zealand. They're cheap as chips. I uh, can't remember. There's like 50 cents each of that. I just uh, pull them up, tap them, condense them, and uh, this seed raising mix is an organic mixture I get from a commercial garden I've been dealing with for years. So good. Um, so I'm just going to tap, let it settle. Level it off with a stick. What happens is when I flood these to get them wet, uh, that level will drop. So uh, I'll stop this. There's no point in this going on forever. And we'll get to the next part of it. Right. Right, here's step two of the process. I half fill these with water with the seed raising mix. Um, I'll leave it overnight and what that does is everything will get warm because it's inside. It's about 22 degrees, 70 something Fahrenheit and uh, I'll sow the seeds tomorrow so that'll be the next one. Um, this will soak up, the top will get wet I've missed it and uh, we'll go from there. Right, um, I set these up with water yesterday afternoon, left them inside overnight so they warm up. You see some of them haven't got wet, uh, that's because that's last year's um, seed raising mix but it'll be fine. Um, I'll wet, it, wet them down with uh, this, get them nice and wet on the top. Um, just remember your, your seeds are only spread along the top, they're not, um, they're not buried. It's important you get the top wet. These ones are a bit dry, they, by tomorrow they'll be, be soaked up. Then, I've got some water in there. Paper towel, uh, get it damp, not running wet. Put your finger on it, and then you see you get uh, a few. Just spread them around. Doc Wilkie, if I think of it, he's got a um, um, a video on this. And he uses way, I think, way too much seed. He hasn't posted any for years. He's probably passed, I think. Just spread them around. If, the thing is, if you, you put too many in, it makes a nightmare for it later to uh, thin out. Um, so I'll just do, I don't know whether I've done that one or not. Um, I spread them around a bit because what you can do is, if some of these don't germinate, you can just uh, hook, hook a small one out and transplant it. Uh, commercial growers, they... Um, um, they they grow these in trays like the whole lot and then they transplant them into small punters. I think that's okay in a, in a warm climate but I'm in a cold climate so uh, it doesn't work that well here. Um, this is what I found the best if I remember I'll put the link in. These um, um, punnets they're, they're from the warehouse here in New Zealand. They're cheap as chips I think they're about nine dollars for forty or twenty or something like that now the half litre I'm losing, <laughs> losing track of this anyway so uh, I'll post this and we'll come back in about ten days and um, we'll start the thinning process it, it, it's, it's a quick and easy way of doing it Right, and after you um, spread them, wet them down again. And you, all your seeds are wet. And once you've done that, <coughs> put a lid on it and forget about it for a week or ten days. Doesn't matter if you haven't got these bins you use normal bin and just cover it in saran wrap or glad wrap. It's the same same idea. All right, that's it for another. Uh, two weeks probably.